Hi, we have lined up a great episode. Just sit back and enjoy the world of real estate. Welcome to the property show. Our property pick of the week highlights serviced plots with architectural designs you can pick from in a great location, a great investment. We'll also connect the dots and respond to questions on a hidden gem you can call home, Zabid Gardens. Another interesting segment brings 2021 Property Market Index Report and legal perspective on the real estate landscape hosted by APSA, a must watch. Let's talk about the red flags when investing in real estate. Over to you. So I think one of the first things to ask yourself is what do the structural bones of the building look like? An architect's take on why using a consortium to build your dream home is the number one solution to consider. What we are offering you is the product, which is now your house. So you come in with the finances, you as the client. The accessory spot with solutions on minimizing clutter and maximizing the use of your space. It's always important to have an organized space as it's easier to clean, easier to access anything you need. The Property News highlights what's brewing and expert insights from Laikipia County. Our favorite home ownership segment is all about possibilities of climbing the property ladder. Do your homework, compare, make sure that everything checks out for me key was children not having to sleep on the road in the morning mm. or sleep on the road on the evening. We wrap up with other investment options available in the market, courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner. Channel your questions and comments on our social media handles and let's talk. Sit back and enjoy the adventure. As always, there is something for everyone. Next, let me connect the dots and respond to questions on why Zabid Gardens is an ideal investment as well as a great family home for modern living. things first. In real estate, the main thing that drives a project is location, location, location. Zabid Gardens gated community ticks that box. Located only five kilometers away from Athi River Main Road, 32 kilometers from Nairobi CBD, and 12 kilometers from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. You can't beat that location. Secondly, the development sits on five acres and is surrounded by all social amenities for modern living, including malls, hospitals, schools, recreational facilities, and the list continues. Another winner, the four bedroom units are all en suite and come with a DSQ, fully fitted kitchen, 24 seven man gate with an electric fence perimeter wall, two parking slots per house, individual gardens, dedicated children's play area. Who doesn't want their children playing within the compound? Let's talk about the progress on the development. The units are complete and ready for immediate occupation. Unbelievable. The pricing of the project is another winner. Zabid Gardens, goes for Kenya shillings 11.5 million only. Let me finish by saying, this project provides everything you need in a gated community. As soon as you enter the gate, you can't help but to say, wow, 
let's hear more Zabid Gardens is a gated community consisting of 100 units of four bedrooms all on suite mansionettes. The estate is set on 5 acres of land and each unit has a built area of 154.1 square meters. This development is set in Athi River and cuts across all spheres of prospective home owners with stylish architectural design for living. accommodation features the ground floor consists of an entrance hallway providing privacy to living spaces and a transition into the house open plan living area with a large sliding door that leads to a private garden fully fitted separate kitchen with top and bottom cabinetry a door leading to a washing area and an ensuite DSQ a vista's cloakroom and ensuite guest room for privacy of the guests On your way to the first floor we have a beautiful staircase that leads to the bedrooms. All the bedrooms are en suite, fitted with wardrobes and the master bedrooms come with a balcony and shower cubicles. Other features in the development include 24-hour manned gate for security, perimeter wall with electric fencing, street lighting and generator for communal areas, children's play area, a borehole for ample water supply. solar water heating systems ample parking for home owners and guests cabro driveways and a shopping center this project is in close proximity to shopping malls schools and recreational areas the price for this development is 11.5 million kenya shillings The Beard Gardens is a dream home ticking all the boxes. If you'd like to view this project, just give us a call and we'll book you a site visit at your convenience. Let's shift gears and see what else the just concluded expo had to offer. During the Laikipia County Expo, we also interacted with experts in this sector. Next, legal insights. Anyone wishing to buy property needs to first of all um, identify the property that they want to purchase that is the location of the property then they need to find out who is the owner of the property so that they can be able to obtain the necessary documentation that shows the ownership of that property then after that um if they're able to identify the person who is selling they can start the process of negotiating the sale and purchase of that property next stage now after that will be to appoint an advocate present them pending also with the location of the property they may need to appoint a surveyor to check out the the area of the property that is in terms of the size whether or not there are beacons that have been planted where somebody is intent of purchasing the property through mortgaging there will be other requirements regarding you know appointing valuers so that the property actual value can be determined when those issues are determined then The next point will be to prepare the documentation that will cover now the actual agreement. When a sale agreement is being prepared, uh, some of the basic information that should be there is uh, for instance the first thing is know who the parties are. That is the full names because we have things like you know post office addresses just to identify where that person is placed. The second thing will be to agree on the price. Um once you have agreed on the price then number 3 you will now agree on the mode of how that um, amount will be paid there is that 
a general requirement where it's most common that parties can agree on a 10% deposit and then the balance will be paid at a certain period not exceeding 90 days. But most parties can vary that so that you can reduce the time or even increase the time depending with what you agree or what the seller would you know, allow how long the balance to be paid. The other thing that parties need to look out for is the documentation that is going to be delivered by the seller, what we call completion documents. So in this case, having determined the location of the property, and you must have been given at least a copy of the title. When you have now agreed on how you're going to get paid as the seller, the next course of action will be that documents starting with the original title have been provided, transfer consents. If it is agricultural land, of course, the land control board. But where we have leasehold property now, that has been sort of removed by an amendment of the Land Registration Act, uh, Section 38. So consents to lease are no longer important. You also share documents like the identification documents, copies of IDs, copies of PIN certificates, and also passport photographs, just to be able to attach them to the transfer. The fourth thing is that you have to check out the penal clauses uh, within the sale agreement. Just like any other agreement, uh, it may not be performed or, or what parties are agreed may not necessarily go all the way. One party may decide to terminate the contract. So if you are the vendor or the seller, then you have to ensure that you're covered because of the, the fact of time. The other thing is that you have to have warranties within the sale agreement. As a buyer, you have to be assured that what you're buying, of course, does belong to the person who is selling it to you. You also want to know that that property is not part of the government reserve or county government property that was lost. You also want to ensure that the property is not subject to some litigation dispute, probably within the family of the seller and such like things. The other thing is that beyond the penal classes, if that agreement fails, you also need to have or agree on the manner in which you can resolve the dispute where it arises should that situation arise. So most sale agreements, of course, we do provide for an arbitration clause, which is essentially intended to quickly determine the dispute that may arise so that if, for instance, there is a point of agreement, then the transaction can be revived or where there is no hope of reviving the agreement, then whatever remedies that can be agreed on by the parties can be provided. Now, this expo has been quite an eye-opener in terms of the opportunities within this uh, region. We have been able to provide knowledge in terms of what we do as a farm to would-be clients in understanding uh, legal processes on land purchase, dispute resolution on commercial disputes, the other small B2B on issues to do with how to support MSMEs to scale up their activities and to also abide by the ever-changing legal requirements. Next, serviced plots, which come with ready architectural designs to pick from. In a great location, a great investment. Nachu, let's hear more. Nachu was registered way back in 1979. Its core business is to deliver affordable housing through the cooperative sector by improving the livelihood of the cooperative members and the public at large. It recently launched projects that are now earmarked to provide affordable housing for everybody in Kenya, including people in the diaspora. We have also gone further to give people security of tenure, whereby we are providing affordable plots and mortgages to the clients who cannot afford no more mainstream financing from the local banks. We also offer training, finance, project management and technical training, including surveying, BQs for people constructing, quantity surveying, and the people who have no knowledge at all about construction. We are there and we give them guidance and even the projects when they are doing it, we give them inspections for them to be able to do affordable housing in the professional manner. Nacho is unique by the fact that uh, its products are unique in nature and the target clientele. Unlike others who go for the mainstream high-end clients, us guys we work from the lowest to the middle and the higher cadre too. We do the mama boga, we do the boda boda, we also do the people in the marketplaces 
like the Mutindwa market, the Kitengela motorbikes, the Boda Boda in the Nyuki, and also people in the employed sector, like even the ones in the airport housing, uh, LSK housing, we are able to give them guidance along the way. So we are unique because our target clientele is quite unique. Our project, Riverline project, is located just five kilometers off the superhighway Thika Road. And we have the serviced plots are having, uh, it's a gated community one. They sit on a red soil, meaning that it's very quality. Thirdly, we've done water articulation to every plot. There is electricity on site, and we've done what we call controlled development. We shall have around several sets of plants to choose from. This is the place to be in the next two years. So investing in the land now, you're not regretting it. We're offering it at half the price the current people selling land there. We are offering it at 2.5 million for a 50 by 100 plot, whereas our competitors around there are doing it at 8 to 5 million, majority who are just going low. However, ours we've done that because again, we want to reach to our target client, the affordable security of tenure to our cooperative members. At the Expo, we also caught up with SME members from Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Let's see what they are bringing to the table. We've been known uh, as Laikipia chapter to be holding such exhibitions and expos. So basically we do partner with different sectors of the industry and we support them because uh, KNCCI does not compete with any business, rather we complement. So basically for us as a chamber of commerce that represents the business people, we have our members who we've ensured that even though they did not have the opportunity to be here, you know, we ensured that we negotiated for them as our members, just for them to be here, meet their markets, their competitors, share ideas, link with them. So basically, if you can look at all these business people that we have here, most of them are chamber members. So yes, we have ensured that they are here without any challenges, just to make sure that they get to interact with all the business people that even like here and their markets too. We've had a program that we were doing called uh, Mastercard Foundation Resilience, a uh, funding that was to help businesses get back into business, you know. Uh, the program basically was uh, a funding for the youth in business and women in business, where we were giving a minimum of 1,000 shillings up to 31,200 shillings. Interest free, yeah, no security. So all they needed to do for qualification was to give us details, or rather their documentation, on a business license, financial statements, either for M-Pesa, bank or circle, whichever that they use mostly, yeah? And uh, we also wanted them to prove to us, yeah? Or rather show evidence that their businesses were operating at least one year before the start of COVID-19. And we successfully gave uh, to businesses here in Laikipia 385 in total of up to 10 million 300 shillings. So I can tell you for sure, we are really, really doing our best in supporting the SMEs, especially in these times, you know, with the pandemic and uh, financial situations whereby businesses are really, really suffering, yeah? So having such programs, we are really seeing the fruits of them, okay? Because businesses that had initially closed down have now opened up their doors. As you can see, the expo today is fully packed. SMEs basically are what we, are, we proud ourselves in as a Chamber of Commerce because uh, our representation is not only with the big companies but also the medium and small enterprises. Another way that SMEs can be able to benefit under Chamber of Commerce is through networking, yeah? Because your network is your net worth, yes? Getting to meet other SMEs in different sectors, different industries, you know? You get to interact with them, yeah, because we do have uh, chamber websites, we have social media platforms. Specifically here in Laikipia, we do have a WhatsApp group for all our members. 
So whatever challenge or inquiries that an SME may want to more information about, then they get to interact with us one-on-one -on -one there. Yeah? We may not be able to respond immediately as an organization, but you may find that other business people also have information that they can share with you that can help you prosper your business. Here we have some of the members of Laikipia chapter. Here we do have Upper House Properties, which is a real estate company here in Laikipia. Quite uh, big, quite impressive. You need to look at their products and take advantage of them, yeah? We also have Sportsman Arms Hotel, which is a five-star hotel here in Laikipia County. So whenever you get a chance to visit Nanyuki, please make sure that you pass by there. They have good services, good products, uh, gym facility, good rooms. So yeah, make sure you go there. Uh, over here we also have a corporate member called El Budget Enterprises. They deal with uh, stones, they deal with ballast. Basically it's a construction company. So for all your construction needs, ensure to visit uh, El Budget. Over here we have a representation of the SMEs, one of the SME members of Chamber of Commerce. We do have Nina here from Vazikali. These are her wonderful products. She deals with uh, African print, okay? She also designs different products for different clients. Over here we also have Cloudco, an ICT company here in Laikipia. Yeah, they deal with internet installation, okay? They also are the ones who are supplying the Wi-Fi here at the Realtors Expo. So for all your internet needs, these are the guys who also talk to. We also have chamber members from all across that far end, yeah? Inclusive of Laikipia University, we have hotels, we have financial institutions, we have innovative spaces. So yeah, we can tell you that this is a fully packed expo. Indeed, I must say, like Keep Your County has interesting investment options to consider. And if you're looking to invest in this great county, just give us a call and we'll be happy to steer you in the right direction. It's important to live in an organized space, minimizing clutter and maximizing the use of your space. Next, the accessory spot with versatile products transforming your kitchen, bathroom, children's play area, laundry area, and shoe storage spaces. Let's hear more. M and Home and Interiors is a company that aims to provide services that transform your space from being cluttered to creating a system where everything has a place in your home. We specialize in home products. Our products include fridge Tupperwares, drain boards, white storage baskets, pantry drawers, lazy Susans, and mostly our fridge stackable containers. It's always important to have an organized space as it's easier to clean, easier to access anything you need. What inspired me to start selling home products is I've always been an organized person. I've always loved organizing. Even as a little kid, I used to go around the supermarkets organizing different food items. And then recently I came across a few clips for organizing which even more inspired me to pursue this. So our products are made of various materials but majority of our products, for example the fridge containers, are made from acrylic plastic. Acrylic plastic is completely safe to use on your food as it doesn't release any harmful chemicals to your food. It also helps keep your food moisturized which makes your food last a little bit longer than usual. So what makes our products unique is we have various designs, the material of the product, but also during my research, I found a gap in the market in which I couldn't find these specific products for my own home. So I saw the opportunity and I took it to bring these products back here. Products at MN Home and Interiors are very affordable very durable and they also are very hard to break and children friendly. Our stackable shoe boxes 
and which come in the large size or the small size. When you purchase the shoe box, it comes in three different pieces, which are easy to assemble. We have the base, the top piece, and the front cover. The front cover helps by keeping dust away from your shoes. From the shoe box, now we have our toy storage containers, which you can keep your children's toys in. The containers come in various different colors, blue, green, orange, or two types of pink. You can also choose to be playful with the colors of the storage boxes by picking different colors and mixing. Next, we have a variety of different fridge containers with different designs. For example, we have our egg container, the large and the small, in which this one holds 14 eggs and this one holds 12 eggs. Next, we have our fridge and freezer friendly, in which you can choose to keep your vegetables and your produce. We also have pantry drawers, in which you can keep your extra stock of groceries or your children's snacks. We also have a Lazy Susan that spins around for easy access of whatever products you use, you put in here. You can also use your Lazy Susan to display your cosmetics or your skincare. This is our cereal dispenser in which you can use to store different types of cereals. For example, your Ndengu or you can choose to store your rice. You simply pour your dengu into the dispenser and press the button. The cereal dispenser can hold up to 8 kgs of any cereal. I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can use our products to organize your fridge. Come with me. Here we can see that Everything has just been placed anywhere and the fridge is completely disorganized. This is especially bad for your food because your food is exposed to bacteria. Let me show you how our products at M and Home and Interiors can transform your fridge. As you can see, all of our produce is now in our safe acrylic containers meaning they will last longer and bacteria is unable to get into your produce. Up here we have also put our eggs in our egg container and managed to create space for more things such as yogurt or refreshable drinks. Below we have also put our meat in the containers. This is especially good for meat as once you open the meat, the liquid from the meats cannot leak into your fridge, meaning it's easier to clean. For the cabbage, we have sealed it with clean film and now it's safe for bacteria. You can either choose to do it like this or cut it up and put it in one of our containers. As you can see, our products have managed to transform the fridge from a disorganized to an organized, aesthetically pleasing way. This is why you should consider shopping at MN Home and Interiors. You know what? I agree. Every great space is a reflection of who we are. And here on The Property Show, we are at the forefront of highlighting great products available in the market. If you're in this space and have products transforming spaces, this platform is yours. Just give us a call and let's talk. Coming up after the break, part two of 2021 Property Market Index Report and legal perspective on the real estate landscape hosted by AFSA. The last thing you want is uh, you buy a beautiful um, unit on the fifth floor and when you look out, uh, you know, it's covered by another building or road structure. So those things, future developments, again, a certain red flag that you uh, look out for. A highlight on what's brewing in the sector.
our favorite home ownership segment with possibilities of climbing the property ladder. Okay, study the market, ensure that you will not be, um, you will not regret. Finally, other investment opportunities available in the market, courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. unataka ku make dreams zake zikamu true tutawak na wewe kuzitimiza kwa urahisi hii ndio africanacity hii ni absa welcome back the property show continues next we continue the conversation on the 2021 property market index report and legal perspective on the real estate landscape hosted by AFSA. Let's talk about the mortgage outlook. How do you see it unfolding? Thank you, Nancy. Um, last year, when uh, COVID came, of course, it caught everyone with a surprise. A few months, and suddenly, industries, economies are shutting down. And what we saw initially was, uh, of course, a withdrawal, including from the investors. And as, um, as an industry, we also faced now that uncertainty from what we were looking at. But as ABSA, we went back to the market and um, offered our customers reprieve as far as repayments were concerned. We gave an offering to all our customers, those who were facing challenges, to come forward. And um, we got a number that we were able to support on the mortgage side we had about 50% of our customers taking it initially. Um, then we went through that phase that customers were able to survive through that time and we came back now to where we are today, where you are seeing an expansion and people are resuming those um, discussions that they had. Uh, initially, we also re-looked at the sectors that were likely to be affected. For the sectors that were not affected badly, we were still able to support. But where we are today is where uh, there's a lot of reopening of the economy. The vaccinations are taking place across the economy. There are upward indicators as the index is showing. So as ABSA, we are there. We have revised how we are going to support our customers because with the expansion that is coming and what is happening, we have opened up the options that we are giving our customers. Um, and allow me to mention at this stage that we give you options, whether you want to buy, whether you want to build, uh, we can support you. Um, as um, the detached uh, houses uh, need has increased, uh, people are coming more for construction. And you know in Kenya, all of us own a plot here and there, and we hope to build it one day. Uh, good news is that we are there to support. Uh, and for the customers now, uh, like in our premier segment, where they have already owned their homes, but you find they will need a second home, a third home, either as an investment or just um, supporting the generations that uh, they have of children. So on additional properties, we are giving you quite a number of options. So in a nutshell, 
we are giving you options for you to consider and uh, we are here to support. Shazad and Masuma, uh, let's talk about the red flags. A lot of us, when we are buying property, for some reason, we get into it and then we realize we, we missed one step. Let's talk about the red flags when investing in real estate. Over to you. So I think one of the first things to ask yourself is what do the structural bones of the building look like? Um, a lot of the times people oversee this step um, and it's a very, very important process because a large chunk of your money is going into the structural bones of the building. And if it's not built well, you may think you've seen a show house, it's absolutely beautiful, but two, two years down the line, when you're living there or when you're renting it out, you have a lot of management problems. And so the first thing to do is to look at the structural bones of the building and whether it's been built with, with, with great materials. Um, another thing to look into is brand credibility and team expertise. Um, a common misconception is that if we look at the developer, that's enough. But actually it's not. It's not just the developer, um, especially the case of first-time developers. The, fir the people you need to look at is the architects, the structural engineers, um, the consultants, the, the quantity surveyors. Um, many times the developers themselves are of only finance financing the project, but it's actually the team building it. So it's a really important step to look into. Another one that's really important is the building that was conceptualized. Was it backed by data, or was it back by an, uh, or was it assumption based? You know, um, it's extremely easy to make assumptions based on what other people are doing, um, but often that could be that could work against you. Um, if a development isn't backed by data analysis uh, by market analysis or data on sup supply demand trends and upcoming property prices uh, you might find you might find yourself in trouble so always go with developments that are conceptualized using a scientific approach and it's not assumption based i think shazad has a few more things uh, thanks uh, masuma so she's just covered uh, most of it anyway uh, but yes do look at the team as a whole, not just uh, the building or the house and or the show home. So for instance, when you're going in and seeing show houses, ask what is being given when I purchase my unit. Um, she mentioned about the team, from the developers going to the architects. Um, the whole process has to be taken into consideration. As Esther mentioned, the legal side. You could go find the most beautiful house and your legal team was not strong enough and has given you trouble. It leaves that sour taste in your mouth and the whole process becomes a bit negative instead of positive. And this is a home that people are buying or an investment that people are buying. Um, looking at locations, for instance, what's coming up? What's the planned developments within that area is another one for, for red flags. Um, accessibility, see how accessible it's going to be. Um, the last thing you want is uh, you buy a beautiful um, unit on the fifth floor and when you look out, uh, you know, it's covered by another building or road structure. So those things, future developments, again, a certain red flag that you uh, look out for. Another key thing would be the approvals that, that relate to that development. So starting from the uh, county approvals for the development, where the architectural and building plans and as well as the mechanical and all of those plans have to be approved. So have those been approved, you need to cite that. Then there is the environmental approvals as well. Um, before any um, development um, commences, there's a requirement that uh, um, the NEMA issues approvals to confirm that indeed um, the development will not impact the environment uh, negatively and where they find that there could be any negative effect then they, they, they dictate certain things that need to be done by, by the developer to ensure that then the, the, the building or the development fits into the environment. So I just thought that I should add that because it's, it's very key as well. It's a fact. This is a buyer's market. What I can add is work with professionals. They'll guide you every step of the way. Next, an architect's take on an easy, seamless process of building a dream home.
Upscale Homes is a product of First Avenue where we offer housing solutions to clients who have plots of land. So what inspired Upscale is the common questions that we get of uh, I have a plot of land I want to build but I do not know where to start or how to build it. So Upscale is packaged in a way that it features six designs, typologies. These are house units that comfortably fit on from an eighth piece of land. Reason being, an eighth acre of land is what a common Kenyan or a common Mananchi is uh, able to afford to start or to build his or her own personal dream home. So we have fixed designs. These typologies are fixed designs. However, we only allow or we can allow if a client wants it changed, we only customize in terms of space increment. In terms of now the facade, that is not acceptable. It's fixed. If you want to come with your own designs, we will have to handle you as an individual client, not under upscale homes. Because now, as I've mentioned before, upscale homes, the typologies of these houses, these are six houses ranging from two bedrooms all the way to four bedrooms. So if you're coming with your own designs, probably they might not be within the two to four bedroom scale of uh, areas. So what we will do, we will handle you differently aside upscale homes. Construction takes six to nine months. This is if funds are available from the start of groundbreaking all the way to when we hand you over the occupation certificate to get to your house. The county government, the lands office, approves the design. So depending on where your plot of land is, we'll follow up with the approval of uh, that particular county. You should choose Upskill because we give you a 100% solution to owning your dream home. This is in terms of from the moment you come to us and tell us that this is a dream home that I want to build, we show you the typology you, you choose from it. Then from it, it's a matter of you sitting back, relaxing and waiting for your dream house. We give you the key. Now, you as the client coming in under Upskill Homes, you provide the finances. Because at the end of the day, we have to build for you. What we are offering you is the product, which is now your house. So you come in with the finances, you as the client. You are the one who provides the finances. However, if you do not have finances, we have partners who offer finances to you as the client. So even when you partner with these financiers, you will have to come to an agreement with them then from there, we now work with them to give you your product, which is your house. To also note to our clients that when you come under upscale homes, once we have built for you and we have given you your product, which is your house, we do not rent it for you. Or rather, you should not expect us to rent it out for you. Once it's built, we end it at uh, you receiving your house and that's it. Homes Tanki Budget Solution has got you covered with ready architectural designs to choose from, dedicated team to hold your hand, finance models available from different institutions, and the icing on the cake. In just six to nine months, your dream house is ready for occupation. Next, the property news. What's brewing in the sector? First, seeing is believing. Have you registered for our upcoming signature bus tour? What route would you prefer to go? What is your budget? And are you looking to understand the mortgage process? The bus tour has got all the answers. Book your seats today. The first annual Estate Agents Conference is here with us. Join me next week together with other keynote speakers. This event links property owners as well as investors with highly skilled real estate professionals. Welcome, come, learn, and let's share together. 
We have planned for our first ever Estate Agents Annual Conference uh, and this is happening on the 14th of October this year. We are calling all of us to come together and put our minds together and discuss the future of real estate agency. As you know, this is uh, the technology age, um, redefining real estate agency. And um, we are partnering with the Ministry of Lands and Physical Planning in uh, planning this event. So the event will take place at the Safari Park Hotel and that is again on the 14th of October this year. It's a hybrid event, uh, both virtual and uh, physical or in-person attendance. Uh, and we have a limit of the in-person because of the COVID, so those who want to register for in-person, I would really urge you to hurry up before the slots are all taken. The call is to anyone who has anything to do with real estate to attend. If you are a registered estate agent or an aspiring one, uh, you are welcome to come and attend. If you are a consumer of products in real estate, uh, if you are a consumer of houses, of land, or you have a profession that is related in any way with real estate, we are calling up developers and professionals in real estate. So everyone, you're welcome to the conference. Are you in the real estate sector and are planning to have events including open days, bus tours, expos, or even activations? This segment is for you. Just give us a call and we'll feature the event right here. Getting onto the property ladder is a long, tedious process. Many times we get caught up by challenges along the way. Next, tips on easy possibilities of climbing the property ladder from a homeowner's perspective. One of the things that I have to admit is that as much as it sounds that it was very fast, I took my time. At one point, I had said this, this market was going crazy on the pricing. And so we had vowed we would never buy a house in Kenya at that price. Because in other places, you can actually buy a block of flats mm -hmm. at the same price. So we said, um, you know, it took time. We, we took about a year or so of uh, testing and saying, do we do it, do we not? You would read newspapers and say, you know, if you go in this area, you do get um, a return on your investment. And so we said, okay, let's now focus. So study the market. Study the market, ensure that you will not be, um, you will not regret. Because we do have people who regret. You go to a far-flung area, your lifestyle adjusts so much, you begin to resent the space. So you, you find yourself letting the space out or the house out so that you can go back to where you felt your heart wanted. And so do your homework, take time, and no one is rushing you. Most of the time, developers are also, you know, hoping you'll come back their way. Yes. It, it's never a rush. It's never a rush. Mm -hmm. If you find a sale or anything, you can always get a better deal. Yes. And so do your homework, compare, make sure that everything checks out. For me, key was children not having to sleep on the road in the morning mm -hmm. or sleep on the road on the evening. They leave when the sun is shining. They come back when the sun is shining. So that was key for me. I was happy not to frustrate other people in the family just because of where I wanted to live. I have to admit the conveyancing is the challenge in Kenya. It took a while. It takes a lot of personal effort to follow through on the legal aspects and ensure that someone is taking care of your business because many other people are using the same people, the same people. Are you a homeowner and would like to share tips on how you conquered the home ownership journey? Just give us a call or drop us an email and we'll be happy to share your experience on this platform. Next, other properties available in the market, courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner.
Are you looking for a serene location to build a retirement home or a holiday cottage? Old Daiga Global Village in Nanyuki is the place for you. This master planned gated community is situated just 18 kilometers from Nanyuki town beneath Mount Kenya, Abadez, and the rolling Old Daiga Hill sitting on 32 acres prime land. These plots are subdivided into quarter acre as well as one acre. Each plot comes with ready title deeds, beautifully crafted three and four bedroom architectural designs you can choose from in a controlled development. Oil Daiga Global Village offers world-class infrastructure, a secure and peaceful environment, and a variety of on- and off-site amenities, as well as services devised to maximize the quality of community life. Nyayo Estate House The house is located in Nyayo Estate, Embakasi, which is very close to the airport and shopping malls. Accommodation includes spacious sitting area, dining area, fitted kitchen top and bottom cabinets, a pantry area for extra storage, splash area with concrete sink unit, master bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes and a bathtub, a common washroom with a toilet and bathtub. Are you looking to buy your first home, upgrade or understand where to find key investment deals? First Avenue, your real estate partner, has a wide range of options in every price range across board. Just give us a call and let's jumpstart your investment journey together. I hope you have enjoyed the show. See you next week for another engaging conversation on how the property market is performing, the key drivers and the future of the sector. And if you'd like more information on any of these properties, you can reach us on our telephone lines as well as our digital platforms. We can also arrange private viewing at your convenience. My shoot location today is the Grand Urban Park along Gong Road. Until next week, thank you for watching The Property Show. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!